Today's math lesson is on positional words. I can describe the position of objects in space. Do you know what positional words are? Think about maybe a part of that that you know. Do you know position? Positional words tell us where something is located. So if you look at the picture, the monkey is in different spots. So when we talk about positional words, that's telling us where something is. When we use position, we use positional words when we want to explain where something is located. Or when we want to help someone get somewhere. So maybe you want to tell someone how to get to your house. You would use positional words like turn left here or my house is behind the Kroger. You would use positional words to help your friend find your house. So let's review some positional words. Where is the ball? Beside. The ball is beside the boy. So what does beside mean? Well, beside means next to. So I want you to read it again. Read it with me. The ball is beside the boy. Where is the ball? In front. The ball is in front of the boy. Okay, read it with me. The ball is in front of the boy. So you might think of who, you stand, who stands in front of you in line in front of. Where is the ball? Behind. The ball is behind the boy. Read it with me. The ball is behind the boy. So think of who stands behind you in line. Where is the ball? Inside. The ball is inside the box. Read it with me. The ball is inside the box. So you can barely see the ball because it's inside the box. Where is the ball? On. The ball is on the boy. Okay, read it with me. The ball is on the boy. See how it's touching his head? When something is on, something, it has to actually be touching it. So the ball is touching his head, which makes it on him. Where is the ball? Above. The ball is above the boy. Read it with me. The ball is above the boy. So see the difference between on and above? On, it had to be touching him. Above means it's not touching him, but if he looks up, it is up above him. So it is, if, if he looks up, it's directly above his head, but it's not touching him. Where is the ball? Below. The ball is below the boy. Read it with me. The ball is below the boy. So see how he is above the ball. So we could use our position words to say where he is, but we're talking about where the ball is and the ball is below his feet. So it's under him. Under is another word for below. Where is the ball? Outside. The ball is outside the box. Read it with me. The ball is outside the box. So see how it's no longer inside the box? It is outside the box. Where is the bird? Between. The bird is between the cages. Read that with me. The bird is between the cages. So there is a cage on each side of the bird and that's what makes him between. Another word for between is middle. So the bird is in the middle of the cages or between. Where is the monkey? The monkey is to the left of the bananas. To the left. Where is the monkey? The monkey is to the right of the bananas. So you have to think of when you use your hand to write words, do you use your left hand or your right hand? And a good way to tell the difference is if you hold your two hands in front of you, try it, 
and you make an L with both hands, the one that has the L facing the correct way is your left hand, and the other one is your right hand. Okay, so now let's check and see how well you know your positional words. The ball is the pool. So how would you describe the ball? Your choices are outside or inside. What do you think? Inside. The ball is inside the pool. The boy is the tree. So where is the boy? If you were going to tell your friend where the boy is, where would you say he is? Is he in front of the tree or behind the tree? The boy is behind the tree. The owls are each other. Oh, are they beside each other or between? Hmm. Remember the word between means there's three things or more. So it can't be between, they are beside each other. Another word for beside is next to. So the owls are beside each other. What is to the left of the house? So if you're not sure, remember, hold your hands out and make L's and whichever one makes the L the correct way is your L left. So which one of these is to the left of the house? It is the ant. He is to the left of the house. The insect is the net. Oh, where is the bug or the insect? Is he above the net, behind the net, or under the net? The insect is above the net. And you could say that he is next to the cactus, right? You could also say the bug or the net is under the bug. All right, let's try this one. The boy is the tree. Is he beside the tree or above the tree? Let's think about that. He is beside the tree. The boy is beside the tree. What is to the right of the house? Okay, so remember, right is the opposite of left. So which one is to the right of the house? That is that little ladybug. He is to the right of the house. What shape is above the triangle? Hmm, what's above mean? Which shape is above the triangle? The circle is above the triangle. All right, now I want you to try to practice some positional words. Maybe move some things around in your house and then tell someone where they are.